Hello and welcome to part 16 of a series where I'm building a protogen head. In this part, I'm not panicking or panicking. Uh, I'm running out of days before BLFC. I think I still actually have time to get everything done. I just need to work on it. So that's what I'm doing tonight. This is hopefully going to be a brief video because I can spend most of my time actually doing the work. I just figured I should record something because I haven't for a while. I'm getting over the flu from last week, so I'm a little bit coughing still and a little bit out of breath, just a little bit. It was definitely the flu, it wasn't COVID. Um, so apologies if I sound a little off or cough and miss it, deleting that in post. Yeah, at this point, the only thing left really to do with the head is to finish it with the latex skin. And I need to figure out how the fuck to do that because this is the hardest part. I tried just free, free handing it, freestyling it, yellowing it with some paper, and it just didn't really work so well. So what I think I'm gonna try this time is um, take this latex hood that I have, and instead of ruining it, just measure out the pattern on it. Uh, which camera is the best for this? So you can see that it's got, you know, different panels here, and I just need to I could take this apart and ruin it to figure that out. I really don't want to, but I, I basically need this kind of design. So my plan is to take these um, Taylor's tapes and measure it. I did a rough uh, go at this about a week ago when I was on vacation. Kind of worked. I was off a little bit on the measurements in the the paper template that I made from it didn't quite settle flat, so I have ideas like I need to just pull this a little bit more tight when I'm working on it, be a little bit more exact with the measurements. I'm going to give it another go. Obviously, I need this to be scaled up a bit bigger, but I just need to get something. If I can get it at this scale, I can easily make it bigger. I just need something to have the correct curves on it. So the plan is basically to take one of these and put it on here. I'm trying to find the good camera for this. But like line this up. Oh. Line this up with like the end of the latex stuff here. You can't really can't see. Don't have a good camera angle for this specific thing, but basically get that there and then get it perfectly aligned with the edge along here and tape it down. And the tape should actually kind of work on here. And then use the other one going along to measure it and then write it down in a spreadsheet and then go back with those numbers in the spreadsheet and measure onto pieces of paper to create a little template. I wish I could find one does exactly what I want, but I've spent a lot of time looking online and I probably could buy a template, but I really don't want to spend tens of dollars on a template that I don't actually need the entire thing of. And I just need portions of. I'm going to give this a try. Hopefully it works. If this doesn't work, then Then I don't know, but I think this should work and it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be close. Like even if I don't get exactly what I want out of this, I think I'm just going to have to go with it anyway because it's going to be the closest I can get in the three weeks that I have left. Yeah, this is the Friday the 6th. Um, thankfully, this is a three day weekend. So I'll have a little bit more time to work on it this weekend. And although I believe on tomorrow, Saturday, I am not going to have time to work on this at all. But Sunday and Monday, I definitely want to spend a good amount of time on this. And today on Friday, I want to at least try to get this templating is much done as I can so I can just plow through the rest of this the rest of the weekend because I would really really like to get this done in time for BLFC 
So I have the tape at the front here and then it goes back around and it is exactly on the edge of the seam going through here and then down the zipper to the bottom here. I really only need to measure down to approximately here where this uh, panel ends because there's another one here. And then the rest of this will be a different panel that I measure. So as I mentioned, I did a, make an attempt at this about a week ago and it kind of worked. So uh, for now, the plan is to take this, line it up here, hold it flat, measure out to this seam right here and make note of the number in this table. So I'm going to just run on through that and you'll see what you see from here, I guess. Probably gonna cut most of this out or at the very least, uh, fast forward it. Okay, so that is the entire portion of this that has um, this panel right here. And this is the only panel that I am, oh wait, no, this panel actually does go all the way to the bottom. It's the second panel that doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So never mind, I do still have a little bit more to do here. So I did this wrong the first time, so. I needed to redo this even if I didn't want to get better numbers, so I definitely do need to keep doing this. 47. This might just be 47 the rest of the way down. And that's 46 there. Um, yeah, that's just going to be 46 the rest of the way down. Okay, there. That's, glad I did, went back and redid that. Uh, let's pull the full thing up. So actually, so these are the numbers I got the first time I did it. These are the numbers I got just now. Uh, as you can see, some of these here in the middle are definitely smaller, and this is approximately where it wasn't letting, setting flat, so hopefully this does help. This is definitely very different down here. So hopefully these numbers are better. Uh, very similar to the beginning, but definitely got tighter in as it got to the bottom. Okay, so I put the end of the paper aligned with the end of the ruler. Now I'm just gonna come down here and mark 45. Just to have that marked. And now I need my ruler on the centimeter side, this one, and to basically go along from the edge. And the last time I did this, um, and I'm going to do this again this time, because the end the zero on uh, the zero on this ruler is not actually quite at the end, which is really annoying. I'm actually going to line it up so the one is at the end of the paper, and then I'm going to add ten or you know, a centimeter to every measurement that I'm putting on here. 
So, let's bring my little table back into view. So I take my ruler, I align the edge, the side of it. Oh, and another thing. Um, this has uh, inches on it as well, but it's a tenth of an inch. And the handy thing about that means that the four tenths of an inch is almost exactly opposite the one centimeter. So if I line up the one centimeter and the four tenths of an inch with the paper, that will put this at an almost 90 degree angle to the edge of the paper, which means that I will be, you know, actually marking in from the edge of the paper and not at an angle or something like that. But I'll do it over here so you can see it a little bit better. But the, what I'm going to be doing is lining up the right side of the ruler with the numerals on the lines for the numerals on the Taylor tape and then lining up the one centimeter and the four tenths of an inch with the edge of the paper like so and then finding in this instance 21 in my table and then in this case I would mark 70 or yeah 70 millimeters because I need to add 10 since I'm starting from the one instead of the zero. And I'm just going to do that for all of these marks, and then uh, we'll be back. All right, so three goes to 60. And then the rest of this just kind of needs free handed in with a bit of a curve. And then this really can just go straight to the end like that. And now, hopefully, when I pull this up, cut it out, I get what I want. So let's find out. Now, to very carefully cut this out. Now for the moment of truth, this is the, this is where my previous attempts have failed miserably in that they don't follow the curve at the top correctly. But if I place this here, and kind of hold that in place and then bring this around to the side, shove this in here. Yeah, this, this is the part that has never quite worked correctly. And I don't know if it's just cardstock doesn't want to 
do it. I suppose it's partly the cardstock, but I feel like part of it has got to be it's just not the right shape. Because if it would be the right shape, then it shouldn't have a problem following this contour. So, am I doing so what am I doing wrong? It's like this, this is fine here at the beginning and then it just stops. So whatever, I think I'm just gonna have to assume that it's something with the cardstock. Cause this looks kind of correct compared to other like patterns and templates I've seen. If you go like try to find stuff on the internet. Um, It is also entirely possible that this part here that I'm assuming in making straight needs to be curved. And if that's the case, I can't do that without ruining this one. That's almost certainly what my problem here is. But I think I'm just going to have to Except the fact that this is not going to be perfect. Um, and just go with this. And hope that it'll be good enough. What I do need, however, is to figure out... Let's just put this off to the side so it doesn't get ruined. What I do need to figure out, though, is this panel, and this is not going to be easy. I might have to actually take this off of this head and lay it out flat and then simply try to trace this. Um, that's probably the best option because I, I just simply, because this also has a complicated curve here. And the front here, I'm actually not going to need because like it's going to attach to the frame at almost a straight angle like this. I think I'm just going to have to fucking YOLO ahead. I'm running out of option of time to come up with options. So I just need something that works. I can work in like actual 3D space just fine, but modeling 3D objects in any way doesn't work for me. Yeah, I, I need to be cutting latex by Monday so that I have, so I can glue it all together next weekend. I know I still have to make some adjustments to the graphics. I've never adjusted for where it interferes with the frame. So I know I still have a little bit of work to do on the software. That's all I have for right now. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to get this up this weekend, but get this up. Try to get another video up once I have the, I'm not going to be recording while I'm doing the cutting and while I'm doing the gluing probably because that's just too much effort, especially with the glue, but I will try to get some more updates out. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.